big white hotel, the Adams, was completed in 1908. It had 22 rooms including the huge dining room, lobby, kitchen and bar. Up the stairs, at the head of the stairs, was a large parlor. It was probably the most elegant of its kind in the area, having pure linen sheets, down comforters, a decorated china bowl and pitcher in every one of its carpeted rooms. The Adams was known for its warm hospitality. The building remains as it was originally built with all its grandeur, secrets and memories. Overhauling the Adams hasn't been easy, and neither was living in the hotel while the work was underway. During Raymond Berry's first winter, it reached 8 below zero one morning inside his bedroom. His plan is to turn the building into a living museum and fill it with antiques. It has been 12 years since he moved in, major rooms downstairs are nearly completed, and he has plans for the other parts of the building. Raymond Barry tackled the huge job of cleaning up and restoring the hotel as a life project and moves forward whenever he has the money to pay for materials. Doing all the work himself, when he wasn't cleaning, painting, reupholstering, and doing carpentry work, he was scouring the countryside and local antique shops for period furniture. The Adams Hotel restoration project was started at the turn of the century in the year 2000 and is being accomplished single-handedly by one man, Raymond Berry. At 71 years of age and with a very limited budget, the progress is slow but steady, while at the same time quite remarkable. The restoration project is completely self-funded and donations always go directly to the renovation and preservation of a bygone era. Since all the labor and craftsmanship is done by Raymond Barry as a labor of love, even a small donation will go a long way to buy materials and greatly move this project along, preserving the Adams Hotel for generations to come. If you're able, donate via PayPal and you too can be a part of preserving history.